Yeah, buddy, easy dub. This shit's done with. But I think we're still gonna come tomorrow. Tomorrow should be our last day at this job site, though. This would just make it a whole week. I was over here crying for no reason. I got 200 bucks because the homie told me to do him a favor. He's at a different job site. Someone owed him 200 bucks. He asked me to get it, deposit it, and sell him 180. He told me I get to keep 20 bucks. Once we get home, we'll hit the bank so we could do that real quick and win ourselves 20 bucks and get us, get us back to $100, I guess. Basically making back the money that we spent on the weekend. Let's go. And now we're in 30 minutes for the drive. Let's go, not two hours. I wonder where they're gonna send me for the next job site though. Imagine the next job site, it's like two hours, three hours for your car ride as well. Fuck it, I'm gonna have to strap in and lock in. <sighs> Gotta love the drive home. Last week, I was very tired. Mostly because I was sleeping at 12 and waking up at 4.30. It's all my fault. I go to sleep late because I end up procrastinating at some point of the day and don't get what I need to do done. This is the worst job site so far. Not because of the work, but literally because of how far it is. Yeah, I never come to LA. I hate LA, honestly. LA is such a trash city. It is horrible. I don't know why so many people want to come to LA. I mean, I understood why so many people used to want to come to LA because supposedly it was the city of the angels, the city where dreams come true, the city where you come, show your talent off, my fucking ass. This is the city where you sell your soul. There are so many evil spirits in this city. In this city, it is crazy. Everybody driving on this freeway is miserable. Everybody living in LA is miserable. Whether you're rich or poor, I'm pretty sure most of the people living here are miserable and don't like it. I deposited the cash. I also shipped out the package for Manny. So the first order is done with. Make sure to shop at sbclothing.shop. Get a hoodie, get some pair of sweats. Put it on the phone and it charges it. So we finally got our car fixed and it only costed us $40 on top of the parts. Um, I took the 20 that we got from helping the homie and selling him, and then also $20 from cash that we had from, damn, I don't even remember, but. We had to come to the car to meditate, the only place that we could find some peace and quiet at times in this house, but although I thought it was going to be peace and quiet, it didn't turn out exactly like that. Today felt like such a better day. I actually focused on my non-negotiables. At least some of them were slowly but surely gonna get back to the, the, all the good habits that I was doing and even more. But I did decide to order a new Cash App card to match the theme of the channel. And after this, we are left with $44 in our Cash App to last us the rest of the week.